incredible day. I get the arm wrestle John Brzezink again. Let me tell the story of yours truly, John Brzezink. It was probably my second arm wrestling practice, 1994, when I heard the name John Brzezink. It was explained to me that John Brzezink was the greatest. His arm was like a magical wand in the world of arm wrestling. He could impose his will on any man, no matter how strong, no matter how big. That was over 25 years ago. <sighs> Being a cocky 19 year old, uh, I think that I almost right away, I said, I'm gonna beat him one day. And, you know, I was a skinny, you know, well, I was still probably about 215 or 20 pounds at the time, but skinny kid. And uh, <clears throat> my coaches at that time just laughed at me. Uh, watch John. Watch John my entire career. And the things that John Brzezink has done over the course of my career is uh, it's legendary. First time I met John, I actually didn't actually remember arm wrestling. It was left-handed in Tokyo in 1999 at the World Championships. It was my first World Championships. I had... I, I don't even remember if, if I'd won the Nationals that year or not. Um, I'd either won or I'd placed third in the Nationals. Can't really recall. But I went to Tokyo very young in the sport. I was 24. And I just saw the video again. He killed me left hand. John Brzezink had come for the money. And, uh, yeah, he won right-handed. Made all everybody basically look like they were amateurs competing against a professional. Was, I believe it was 2000 and maybe six that I got to arm wrestle John. And I don't have a good memory with dates and specific times, but it was at the Superstar Showdown in Chehalis. They selected three Canadians and three Americans. And it, everybody expected that it was gonna be Marcio and John in the finals. But I managed to beat Marcio that day. And John, at the time, was far superior to me. But John likes to play and test his opponents. And John let me get into a position where he could truly feel my strength. And I could feel his. At that time, technically, I was not a proficient arm wrestler uh, in, in terms of what I would say the elite level of arm wrestling is. I was technically not at an extraordinarily elite level. I was really good, but there was many things that I did not understand uh, that I learned after that match and from that match. But from pulling him that day, I knew that what I had said to my coach at 18 or 19 years of age uh, could become a reality. I think that we did arm wrestle again after. Uh, I had a super match with Ron Bath, maybe it was 2007 or something like that. I don't even like to talk about that match because I was not in a great shape after I had had my super match with Ron. However, I also know that I would not have beat John that day, even if I was fresh. 
2008, John was my sanity for a tour in Afghanistan. We had a, a pretty good tour. And basically, I knew that when I returned, I would face John. I knew it was inevitable. I was uh, the Armour's champ at the time, and Neil told me that when John was ready, that uh, that would likely be my next match. So when I wasn't uh, on a mission or getting ready for one, I was probably training for John in the gym. And when I came back from that tour, I had definitely leveled up. And uh, there's been a lot of things that have been said over the years about John's condition in that match. But the truth is, is shortly after that match, John continued to do amazing things. And the door was always open. He could have faced me any time. So I felt secure in my position at that time, having beat John. Sometime around 2012, surgery. My right elbow, original parts, finished. Finished. <laughs> it's uh interesting time when you kind of reach your first peak. And that's determined a lot by surgery for a lot of athletes. Got done that, dipped down into 225 pound division where John has the last win on me. We met in 2015 and, and he destroyed me. He destroyed me with the exploding hand technique. I was unable to slip. I knew going into that event, I told everyone that I was not ready. My elbow was still unstable. It takes time to come back. And this is just the truth. Uh, I did not have the center of arm wrestling. I had the fringes, but I knew that I was vulnerable because the center was not there. I felt confident that if John had have appeared in 2016, that I would have defeated him. My heart sank with the rumors of John's retirement. Um, I... I didn't believe it. I never believed it. I, I thought, John will never retire. John will never retire the sport of arm wrestling. I thought, he's resting. He's resting, he will come back. It's, an, it's inevitable. Over time, over the years, 2015 was the last time he really was active. I saw him pop his head up in Moldova, not committed, not in love. I saw he was doing it for the money. And <laughs> money's great. Money's great. But money does not make a champion. It doesn't. And I could tell that he was there for a good time. Um, and then... I actually started to give up hope a little bit. I started to think that maybe John was gone. Maybe he had left us. And then, now he's back. He's back, something changed. Something changed. I'm not sure what it was exactly, but I'm so excited. What I know about John is he would not accept a match with me unless he thought he could win. And to be clear, I was the hunted. John Brzezink asked for me. Adam contacted him about who he wanted arm wrestle king of table two. It was my name that he said. 
haven't taken time off basically since I started the sport. The only time I've taken off throughout my entire career is five weeks, and that was to box store, and that was just recently. Other than that, I have never, ever stopped. Uh, the fight with John should be in about eight weeks, and... I have nothing but respect for John. Even with all the things that I've heard, all the things that have come back to me over the years, the whispers, doesn't change the way I think about him. But make no mistake, for the next eight weeks, all that I will be thinking about is destroying him on the arm wrestling table. And I know John's great. I believe he's the greatest, the greatest of all time. And I think when he's motivated and focused and hunting, perhaps at 56 or 57, you still can be the greatest. I believe that. But I am going to crush him. So it might not be too late if, I don't know if he signed it yet. I signed it. All you lovers of John, all you lovers of the sport of arm wrestling who want to see John kind of in the pastures, tell him to turn back. Because I will not be nice. Not even a bit. Anyways, I'm so happy. There's nothing that makes me happier right now than knowing I get to face John Brzezink in about two months. See you soon, old buddy.